Hey, this is Luke Simons with SaltStrong. In this video, we're gonna analyze exactly what happens underwater when you put a shrimp on the bottom. And we're gonna cover a live shrimp, as you see in this video. This is right when it's going down. And we're also gonna cover a dead shrimp, or really frozen shrimp, and just to see exactly what happens and, and really to see how much of an impact the quality of bait can uh, can make when when fishing areas that have that have pinfish or other little small bottom dwellers that are, are very quick to uh, to pounce on a meal. So let's just check the, you know how long it takes for this this bait for this shrimp to get ripped apart. So right now we're at the 1535 mark and I'll go ahead and play it so you can see what's happening. So that's going down right got on the bottom. So right now we're at 1538. So within five seconds uh, this shrimp is starting to get torn apart and just really shows just, just how how much of a kind of luck of the draw, if you will, it takes to catch good fish on 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 old bait on you know, on frozen bait because unless a big fish happened to come across here in the first uh, 30 seconds right now the shrimp has, has been torn off the hook it is basically being the last of it is being consumed and and really unless the the only way to catch a good fish in this case is for a, a good fish to just have happened to come along you know right then like within 30 seconds after the, uh, the the shrimp hit the uh, hit the ground and, and coincidentally right I was looking I was going back in time and and I, I actually missed a sheep's head by just a couple minutes so there's a sheep's head coming up and uh, it's actually pretty cool let me go back a little bit and play it it's pretty in it's interesting to see how camera shy these these sheep's head are so I have the GoPro mounted on a go on a, on a pole and the sheep's head saw it and uh, knew something was wrong and totally bailed. So now let's go back to the live shrimp and I'll just fast forward so we can see the timing of it. And so right now we're at the 654 mark. And, uh, and even with this, it doesn't last forever, right? Because this fish will eventually track it down, but it just lasts longer. And, and so you can see with the live bait, you have two benefits of live bait. Number one is that the shrimp can move pretty quick. As you see here, the shrimp totally outsmarts the pinfish. The pinfish was very slow to react. And, uh, but also even when they do get a hold of it, the, the, the meat is more intact. Like they're, they're, they're not able to, uh, to tear it up nearly as fast. And you can see here, this shrimp has now been flailing around for a while. Those, those fish just simply cannot get it. And then even once they do get to it, they can't just rip it apart like they, uh, like they were with the, the actual dead shrimp. So it makes a very big difference on on live versus frozen and even if you are doing frozen just make sure it's not the mushy you know sometimes you can just see how how good the meat is on how or i guess i should say how fresh fresh it was when it was frozen um sometimes it's just mush and that'll just immediately come apart you can see the shrimp has now been down there for a while and actually yeah just look in the background right and you can see the sheep's head is back there so a sheep's head is in the area it uh it ended up not coming up due to all the commotion but but again, just the fact that it was a live shrimp versus a dead shrimp that actually that significantly increased the odds of of getting of getting some action. All right, so now we'll compare that to to crabs. So uh, for sheep's head in particular, a lot of people use fiddler crabs, and and yes, you know sheep's head love them. But I, but I think another reason why they're so effective is that I actually have a crab. It's down below. Uh, I think the reason why they are effective. Let me just go ahead and fast forward. The reason why they are just so effective is that the the pinfish, the little junk fish. They just can't tear it up nearly as fast. And so right now these pinfish are ganging up on this crab. This is a live fiddler crab and pretty soon we'll get it in. Okay, there it is. So now they're starting to pull it into the, into the window and they've been going after this crab now for over two minutes. And, uh, and they, just, they just can't grab it. They can't get a hold of it. That, that shell is protecting them. So that is a significant advantage because now that crab can sit down there in the, in the danger zone without getting torn up by by the bad fish and, and that'll significantly increase the odds that you know one of the, the target species will, will find it. And so in general, when fish start clearing like this, when the pinfish start clearing, that means a bigger fish is on its way in. And, uh, and sure enough, you'll see, this was a really close call on catching a sheep's head. I've, I've really been wanting to, to get footage of a sheep's head striking underwater. And there you can see those fish spook off, know something big's coming. And sure enough, a sheep's head will show up here in just a second. Uh, yep, there it is. So again, sheep's head came in, the crab is still there, the sheep's head was spooked by the pull, didn't know what to do, and I just kept watching this video, and sure enough, another one comes up. Let me go ahead and fast forward. So now we're at the three minute mark, and it's around the four minute mark, I believe, this giant sheep's head came in. Again, these pinfish have been going after this crab for a really long time, 
and it is still there. I still have a chance of catching a good fish. So now we're at the four minute mark. Um, and this crab is still intact, right? It's not, it's definitely not alive anymore, but check out the size of this sheep's head. This was an absolute beast. And look at it, look to the be look to the bait and look to the camera back and forth a couple times. It is pretty amazing to see this. We'll go ahead and play that again. So sees the bait, looks at the camera, looks back at the bait, looks at the camera, and then I'm got I'm out of here. <laughs> so sooner or later I'm gonna get one of these guys to eat. But uh, but just wanted to to highlight the importance of the bait that we're using. Not only do we need to think about, you know, what are they actually feeding on today? we also need to think about how long can this bait actually actually help me catch a fish before it's torn apart. So frozen shrimp is the last the, the shortest amount of time. Live shrimp lasts a lot longer. And then crabs last longer than anything else that I've tried. Sand fleas get torn up as well. I've tried that. I have some footage on that as well. But I uh, but just wanted to show this crab footage because it was pretty cool to, uh, to see how close we got to catching an absolute giant sheep's head. All right, well, that's it for now. I'll close with this, this snapper strike. In case you missed the prior video, it's pretty cool to see just how, how fast these snapper actually do hit and, and again, how important it is for live bait. So that live bait, as soon as it's twitching, it'll significantly increase the odds of getting hit. And just watch this screen by screen on just how fast a snapper will suck down a shrimp. So again, it goes back to that thump versus tap. And I'll, uh, again, there's a detailed video on this, uh, on this footage uh, before, but again, just two two or three frames basically is gone. And that's 60 frames per second. Pretty uh, pretty darn neat. So so anyhow, that's it for now. Just wanted to share this footage. Uh, this underwater, is just, just looking at what happens underwater, I think can help us all catch a lot more fish. So make sure to share this with any of your friends or, or family who enjoys fishing. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're an online fishing club specializing in inshore saltwater fishing. So if you like catching redfish, sea trout, snook and flounder, you're gonna absolutely love what you see in this program. And we have two big, bold guarantees. Number one, we promise, we guarantee that you will catch more fish per hour of fishing than ever before. And number two, we guarantee that you're gonna save money on your tackle from our big group discounts. So to learn more, check it out, saltstrong.com. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. Hope to see you again soon.